All right. Welcome, welcome to Unhinged with the Door Dork, where door hardware nerds get together. We knock and we slam on different door fells. Uh, we learn, we laugh, and sometimes we even cry. But most importantly, we have fun while we dork out on doors. Um, today, we've got a very special guest, Mr. Matt Donaldson. Um, Matt, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you and maybe maybe a fun fact. Let's mix it up a little bit. Hi, nice to meet you guys, and thanks for obviously bringing me here to discuss with you. Uh, so I have been with uh, the group here for six and a half years. Uh, in August, I'll be here for seven years. Uh, basically, lead up the product management for Glass Solutions and the Rockwood products as well. <laughs> a fun fact about myself is when I was a, a junior in high school, actually, I was part of a boy band that actually went and won one talent show. We only performed one time, um, but we did a tribute to... Uh, the Backstreet Boys. So that's nice. uh, probably my fun fact about myself. So you're undefeated. Exactly. Yeah. It was a one-time performance and we nailed it. I think we won $50 and that money was spent wisely. <laughs> <laughs> On pizza, right? Just pizza? <laughs> pizza and soda. <laughs> I I'm glad you said Backstreet Boys and not in sync because then, then we were going to like a, a battle here. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was a it was a battle between the two, but yeah, we ultimately went with that. It just, it fit more of our voice range anyways, at yeah. that time. <laughs> my, my wife is a big sync fan and I was a Backstreet Boys fan growing up. And so that was, that was a big confrontation in our marriage. We had to like <laughs> work through that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, well, welcome Matt. Glad to have you. Um, and as always, you know her, you love her, the lovely Mrs. Mia Mara. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and maybe a fun fact? Yeah, so uh, Director of Product Management for Sergeant Corbin Russwin, Yale. Um, my fun fact is definitely not as fun as Matt's, although I guess I could pull out some fun. Uh, but this year, uh, inspired by Benji, what you guys have been doing, we're also trying the thousand hour challenge uh but we're shooting more for like 500 hours uh because the kids are little and they're not able to do uh everything so we're already trying to get outside more even in january with the snow so that's what we're doing this year that's fun and uh i can tell you that thousand hour outside challenge is a great great challenge even even if you fall short of the thousand hours like we did last year it just gets you outside more and more conscious or aware of your outside time you know the benefits of sunshine and vitamin d and all that stuff right <laughs> yeah yeah the kids are really loving it and the cold doesn't bother them so we made sure we got a lot of good layers uh, and they did a hot chocolate walk today uh, and they really like that so it'll be fun any incentive to get them outside right <laughs> exactly um, okay, so for those who don't know how Unhinge works, I will pop up a picture of a door fell or a bad installation. We will slam, we will knock on the door and then give it a knocking score. One being not too bad and 10 being pretty knocking bad. Like this needs to get written up right now. Like let's get this person in prison or something like that. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, how does that sound? You guys ready for me to jump in? Let's, Let's do, it. do it. Are you, are you waiting for it? We're Man, waiting. Waiting. Is it is it building up? How much? <laughs> Suspense. Uh, so Matt, because because you're with Glass Solutions, uh, this is definitely a more glass door themed um, episode. So hopefully you enjoy what I've uh, pulled together for you and the rest of the door hardware nerds. You need. First of all, I thought it was cool <laughs> that they use these. These are uh, ice hammers as the door pulls for this hiking store down in downtown Portland. Um, what, what else do you guys see or notice about this picture? Well, I know that Matt and I are now gonna get custom pull requests for this. <laughs> yeah, this is really gonna bring in the custom work. And <laughs> looks like that's uh, attached to an exit device. <laughs> it is, yes. Um, uh, I, I don't wanna like shame any, uh, brand names or anything like this, but this exit device is known for a certain type of latch at the top. And I double checked to make sure that they had a, a roller latch at the top with an electric strike. And um, uh, you can actually rock these doors open uh, if you get like the timing correctly, because that roller latch only engages with a certain part of the electric strike. 
Um, so I thought that that right there in itself was a glass door fell. Um, I, I'm glad they, they have these hammers uh, bolted on correctly because it would be hilarious if this was like a Phillips screwdriver or something like that. <laughs> and you, you just unscrew the hammer that you used to break it. Uninstall it from the outside. <laughs> So I'm glad they got that right. And it's definitely unique and uh, out there. I don't know if it's going to get much of a, a knocking score, but what do you guys think? Not, not too knocking bad, right? Yeah, I don't think anything's wrong with the installation. I mean, I think it's interesting that they chose this for pulls. And I mean, we've seen a lot of custom pulls, kind of crazy pulls uh, out in the wild. So I, I think this is low, like a two. Okay. I would also say it's low as well. Uh, we as well see the, the custom mating pull request uh, for our panic device as well. Um, wood pulls, this is definitely creative. Uh, from a safety standpoint, not quite sure there uh, on that one pull. looks like maybe a, a sharp object is extruding out of that one point. So maybe, you know, that could, you could get caught on that. So um, maybe need to fix that up. Yeah, um, I think they did like round off the edges because these are like ice pick, but it's still extended out from the door so if someone's like walking through or if you open it up and there's a kid there right there i mean there could be some uh liability issues there i agree with you okay i'll jump on to the next one nice <laughs> <laughs> <Rope pull. laughs> uh, yeah uh it, it zoomed in at first glance i thought this was a like a, an actual wire which you know, you'd probably need like an electrician to install. I'm just kidding. Hopefully this is a very temporary uh, fix for a broken uh, door pull. <laughs> when people talk about wanting a cable device, I don't think this is what they mean. Either that or they're waiting for the inventory for the uh, actual pool to arrive, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, with the supply chain the way it is, Matt, you're right. This could be what we're up against. Eco-friendly pool here with a rope. <laughs> I think someone said uh, it's uh, lead credits, it's sustainability, you know. <laughs> Compostable too. Recycled <laughs> material. Uh, what's, what's some of the liability you see with this? Um, or what, what, what else catches your eye? Is that a reader on the other, on the frame? What is that? It is, yeah. Um, I believe it's a Cantec reader with a missing cover, which is never a good sign. I'm wondering if someone tried to break in to this door and like that's why the door pull busted off and then they were like trying to mess with the reader or something to see if they could you know trip the access control system yeah 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 but for there to be a pull there and then a cylinder in the middle of the oh it must have been an offset pull awesome yeah hopefully <laughs> If it wasn't, we'd probably be having the same picture here. <laughs> That'd be the next step fail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love a good like straight on pull with the cylinder underneath the, you know, I call it a, a knuckle hitter or knuckle bender. That's just anti-vandal. There you go. <laughs> Keep people from messing stuff. Can't. I, I would say one thing I, I would hate for someone to like get looped up in this door. Or them just cut it off completely so you can't open it from the out. I mean, you could probably grab that cylinder and pull it open and probably a little difficult, but. Yeah, that would be a little tricky depending <laughs> on the, if it's yeah. night lap or something. <laughs> okay, knocking score. What do you guys think? I mean, let's hope the locksmith is coming later this afternoon, in which case I would say, I mean, it's, it's like a five. It's middle of the road for me. I was going to give it a six, so we're. <laughs> We're close on that. Yeah, hopefully either either the new pool arrives or uh, they uh, take some some action here swiftly. I, I would agree with you. I don't think there's any obvious door code violations or life safety threats, but there is a little bit of liability that comes with a jankety pool like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean they can still get out from the inside. They can still lock it. So like the function of the door for the most part's there. We just don't want anybody to get hung up. Um, this technician that took the picture wasn't called out to fix this door. It was a for a different <laughs> issue. So living on the edge. I mean, the cord's still pretty white. It should be fairly new. You know, they're, they're using it as like a, a hands-free pull. Hands-free, yeah. You can get your arm in there and pull it up. Yeah. Innovative, <laughs> but yet cost-effective. Well, Matt, thank you. Appreciate your uh, expertise and advice. And uh, me, always, it's a pleasure to have you. Um, and uh, join us next time on the next episode for Unhinged. Our doors are always open because they're unhinged. Don't forget to click like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.